O come, O ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and adore him, born the King of angels, O oh, come, let us adore him, O oh, come, let us adore him, O oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. We pause now to ask God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only God, Son of God, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and invisible God, who dispersed the darkness of this world by the coming of your light, Look, we pray, with serene countenance upon us, that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved. The way we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but not, does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God, is truly perfected in him. This is the way we may know that we are in union with him. Whoever claims to abide in him ought to walk just as he walks. Beloved, I am writing no new commandments to you but an old commandment that you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. And yet, I do write a new commandment to you, which holds true in him and among you, for the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Whoever says he is in the light, yet hates his brother, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light, and there is nothing in him, <coughs> in him to cause a fall. Whoever hates his brother is in darkness. He walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Let the and heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. 
Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord made the heavens, splendor and majesty go before him. Praise and grandeur are in his sanctuary. Let, Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. A light of revelations to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory glory to Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate of the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, this man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law of the Lord in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My eyes have seen the salvation which you prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself a sword will pierce so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today I, I want to focus a little bit more on the first reading from St. John. He says that those who do not do the Lord's commands but say that they know him are liars. Now, it used to be that if you said that to somebody, you're a liar, it was a very offensive thing. And it usually hurt to the core. And yet we live now in a world, especially in our country, I'm not sure about other countries, where lying has become the mainstay of life for public officials. Most recently in the news, the politician who was elected and and lied about everything about his his background about his religion about uh, where who he worked with about all of the things uh, that one has to reveal his that he graduated from two different universities and he never graduated from college at all and he says that this is this is normal everybody does it that's usually the excuse everybody gives when they do something that's wrong. Everybody does it. That is the spirituality, the ethics of a teenager. Yet the adults in our society have begun to lie on a regular basis and declare it true. Lying now is the truth. So it's important to understand that Satan is the father of lies. That's how he's described in the scriptures. And that the lying is what Satan does in order to deceive others. And yet that is spreading among us. 
we also must look at ourselves and say, how <coughs> truthful are we? Do we truly love God, not only in word, because that would make us liars, but in deed, in our <coughs> actions, in what we do? And that is important. The true measure of our love of God is living as we have been called to do, by loving as we are called to do. Let the Lord help us on this fifth day of Easter to take our own hearts and make sure that they are filled with truth and that our profession of faith is one that is professed with our actions and not only our words. Let us stand to pray. <coughs> like Simeon, who trusted in the light of Christ, we approach the Lord with confidence and present our petitions. For the church, may Christ continue to illuminate her path to unity throughout the world let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear For political leaders of every nation, may the humble birth of Jesus inspire a renewed commitment to peace building and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those suffering or burdened with difficulty, may the hope found in the Lord's faithfulness and promise bring them consolation and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those assembled here, may the Holy Spirit guide us in becoming an ever more forgiving and gracious people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, may the Lord shine his face upon them and grant them eternal peace, most especially for Chris Kask being remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For whom else shall we pray? For Mary Lyon's sister who just got out of the hospital yesterday with the Lord's help healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we entrust ourselves to you by living as faithful followers of your Son. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Bless God. God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. For on the feast of this all-filled mystery, Though invisible in his own divine nature, 
he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially Christopher, being remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence we pray in the words our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. The second verse of Number 93. Sing choirs of angels, sing in exultation, sing, O ye citizens of heaven above. Glory to God, glory in the highest. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Have a good day, all. Thank you, Father, you too.